The Metropolitan Building in Vintuk's Central Business District was originally constructed 19 years ago, shortly after independence. However, the insurance company's presence at that time was minimal, with the staff of only about 30 people occupying one floor only. By this year, the company's staff had swelled to close to 370 employees and now Metropolitan occupies the entire building as an operationally independent company from its parent in South Africa. This building, except for this space where we are sitting in, is fully led and it's fully occupied by Metropolitan owned people. So this is where we grew from one floor in terms of the personnel to be occupying the whole building. So we have grown from I think a staff complement then of about 30 odd people to the current levels where we are now. I think the people that are sitting here in excess of 120 people, I think at the moment. So I think that's how much we have grown over, the, over a period of time. The refurbishment of the building took about 10 months and constituted an investment of over a million dollars. Deputy Minister Kali Schledwein, who officially opened the building on behalf of the Finance Minister, applauded Metropolitan for its confidence in the Namibian economy and for proof that Namibian companies can be sustainable in the long term. The inauguration of this centre this morning is a culmination of smart, innovative and hard work of Metropolitan Namibia, as we have heard from the MD and the Chairperson. It is a strategic significant investment in a favorable work environment for metropolitan staff. It is an investment in business growth, which testifies to a successful business growth strategy since the founding of Metropolitan Namibia in 1996. Beyond the splendor of this facade and the fine piece of architecture lies the financial infrastructure and technology that drives metropolitan's core business as well as a formidable financial and non-financial asset base. Metropolitan Namibia supports Namibian communities through various sports, sponsorships and corporate social investment.